With a man accused of robbing and killing a 71-year-old Houston grandmother, has been found guilty and will spend the rest of his life in prison. That's right. Fox 26's Domily Keith was there in the courtroom this afternoon when the jury returned that verdict. Domily. Yeah, family members on both sides cried when the jury foreman announced Andrew Williams is found guilty of the capital murder of 71-year-old Martha Medina. Then Williams stood up and spoke directly to the Medina family. I felt for him honestly at that moment. Showing compassion for the man now convicted of murdering her mother, Lourdes Medina says she feels grateful to finally have justice. A lot of relief because I've been... I've been carrying so much pain. It's been very hard to, uh, to put on a strong face. 71-year-old Martha Medina had gone to the bank in 2021, then to an East Houston McDonald's on Uvalde. Investigators say Andrew Williams and two others followed her and snatched her purse before running over and killing the grandmother in the fast food restaurant parking lot. He was the getaway driver and also the driver of the vehicle that actually ran over and killed Miss Medina. After three hours of deliberating, the guilty verdict was announced, and here you see Williams standing in the courtroom apologizing to the Medina family saying how he behaved wasn't how he was raised. I also feel for for his family. They're essentially going to suffer the same things that we're going to go through because they're going to grieve in a different way. My heart is heavy for them. You know, a lot of the folks that are caught up have a good side and they have a side that they struggle with. And unfortunately, uh, as you heard through his own words, his mother didn't raise him like this. I felt some sincerity coming from him when he apologized, and I pray to God to help me to, in time, forgive him. Williams has now been sentenced to life in prison without parole. His attorney says he will appeal. Now, when Mrs. Medina was murdered back in 2021, Williams was actually out on bond for a different capital murder charge. Reporting live from the Harris County Criminal Courthouse, I'm Dama Lee Keith, Fox 26 News.